So I'm back at uh, Waterfall Station. I'm going to do the four wiring track from Waterfall back up to Heathcote, which is the opposite side of what I did last time, which was that way around from Heathcote down here to Waterfall. Now I'm doing this way from Waterfall back up to Heathcote. So let's see if we can find this trailhead. Right, so I think we found it. Bull wiring track starts here. It begins. Looks pretty nice, actually. There's a few rocky outcrops up there. And we're just at the edge of the uh, waterfall suburban area. I don't believe this. I've like seriously walked in for like three minutes and already like. Uh, so I've been going about 10 minutes here and I read in the walk notes that it said that this uh, track isn't very well signposted. And I can tell that already because I've got lost three times already trying to follow the track. It's not really very clearly marked. This looks probably a little bit easier because I'm back on the track now. But I went back up there across the top of a rock ridge thinking that was the way to go, but it clearly wasn't. So uh, I'll have to pay close attention here today I think because it's quite easy I reckon to get lost in amongst all this okay so this is reassuring a signpost looks like I'm gonna have to go down there in amongst between the rocks okay follow the signs annoying me already. <laughs> Backtrack again. Half of this looks like a track and half of it just looks like scrub. Okay. Going back to the last sign that I saw <laughs> by the arrows. Okay, I should have known this, but generally when there's things like this walking off that trail, that's not the way to go. You don't step over it and keep going. I think it's this arrow here that confused me because it looks like it's pointing to go that way but I think I'm supposed to go down there because that looks like more of a trail and that's a sign for coming back up maybe shit oh let's see what happens all right this is a bit more like it on a proper trail now proper signs <laughs> and uh still need to watch your footing all right, that's really helpful. Heap coat that way. All right, feeling a little bit more reassured now. Okay, I keep finding better signs, so I'm on the right track, I'm pretty sure. It says, bull wiring, kingfisher pools, 800 meters, which way? This looks like a stream, uh, creek bed crossing. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. There's not a lot of water around, I've noticed lately. I did read in the news the other day that we've had the driest um, autumn or spring or whatever it is um, on record. This is pretty nice. It's actually got a little fish. Probably can't get that on the camera, but there's a little fish there, tadpoles probably in the, the stream. Let's just jump over here.
pretty cool. So another example of a very fine, not so rare species, the Plasticus maximus. I'll see if I can catch it. Ooh. Look at this little fella. Put him away for safekeeping. Follow the yellow lines. Check this out. I think it's uh, Kingfisher Pools. A few other hikers over here too. That's pretty nice. I might come back here in summer and actually go for a swim. It's pretty cool. This might give you an idea of how dry it is here lately at the moment. Like this is a riverbed and it's bone dry. It's just a little bit of water pulled up there. But the rest of it's just solid rock. Might go down there. And in the middle of a river. Actually, it might not be a bad place to stop for some lunch. So I was just reading the uh, walk notes and I've come to this intersection here and it doesn't actually mention more a track in the walk notes at all so I'm not 100% certain uh, 
which way I need to go, but I think I go straight here along Battery Causeway. Um, at least this is a clear signposted spot, so if I go down this way, figure out I don't know where the hell I am, then I'll come back to here and try another route. Nice little creek crossing. And up this way. So I don't actually know where I am at the moment. Over there is a hill and down the bottom is a valley obviously and I'm up on top of the ridge on the opposite side. But I came down that side of the the valley along the creek uh, edge down there on the other side. Now I'm going back in the opposite direction on the other side of the creek. So I'm hoping this track turns pretty sharply left, not too far away from here. But also I'm going to end up back at Waterfall Station and I want to go north up to Heathcote. So pretty sure I haven't missed a junction, but you know, anything's possible. See how we go. Climbing up rocks again. So I'm just about to come up to get a really nice view out over Heathcote National Park. Here we go. I was just thinking that I haven't seen a sign in quite a while and I've just got to another junction point here. Go in a track and ball wiring track back to waterfall and kingfisher pools which is where i just came from so i think uh the walk notes so i'm supposed to follow this one go in a track for about uh two or three k to the next junction so let's give that a crack actually i might stop here and have a drink so luckily i checked the walk notes again because i'm actually supposed to follow this track not that one up there along Goanna Track. I need to follow this one along Pipeline Road down past, uh, along the edge of um, Heathcote Creek. So that was lucky that I decided to stop and think about it. So along this part of um, the track you get uh, glimpses down into the valley down here and you can just see, probably not in this shot, but you can see um, Heathcote Creek just down the bottom there. It's actually really pretty to be up here and look down and, and see the water down there. Looks like we've come up to a bridge or a weir with actually some water, which is nice to see. How about we go down there? 
Okay, we've come to Battery Causeway. That's back the way we came from the signs. We need to go across the uh, Causeway Bridge or Trail Road, whatever you call it here, and up that hill. Hello. This is a really nice little spot here. That's uh, it's called Battery Causeway. I think there's some lizards over there on the rocks too that the um, family are having a look at and taking some photos of. So I think my road out of here is up that hill. Okay, we've got a goanna just up here. I'm going to try and sneak up to him. Keep your eyes peeled, he's just there in the brown, tall grass there. He definitely sees me. I'm not trying to scare you mate, I just want a good look at you. You look really cool, so... And he's gone. That was pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've seen um, a goanna in the wild. So, along this uh, trail here near the pipe, which might be giving off a bit of uh, extra heat, I'll keep my eyes out. It would be good if I could see some more um, Wizards or goannas or snakes even. That would be pretty cool. See down there? I'd love to see a platypus in the wild one day. That would be pretty amazing. I've only ever seen them in zoos and closures or on the internet. So, you know, I had to point this out, the friendly trail. And there's a do the right thing, don't lead a sign as well. So, good job, guys. Doesn't tell me how far to the end, but... <laughs> So it seems today is all about getting lost and turning around and going back to where you just were to find another way. Because I was here just before at the Friendly Trail Marker uh, Junction and thought it didn't tell me which way I was supposed to go. So I kept following the service trail that way, which is wrong. So I went down there about a kilometre and then realised that it was not really following the uh, walk note. So I'll backtrack to here and I can see now it says Heathcote Station, 1.6 kilometers up over the railing, up over the pipeline, up the hill to the station. So this way. I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track again now. I can hear um, cars and buses and trucks and stuff in the not too far away distance. So I must be getting closer back to civilization and uh, the train station. It's my ticket to ride home. And it's probably been about, uh, started at about 11. It's about 2.30 now, three o'clock, so it's about four hours. I'm almost at the end. Not a bad day. I love coming across stuff like this in the middle of, um, well, a hike or a national park somewhere. It's like an amphitheater with a fireplace. I can just imagine people chilling out here, playing guitar, having a huge fire, getting smashed. I bet you most people don't even know it's here, even if they live just up there because there's houses just up there. 
actually that guy probably knows <laughs> he probably doesn't sleep when they come down here and have parties anyway I think this railing is the way out so apparently I just looked it up and that's uh, campground uh, fireplace area was actually part of the scamping um, center uh, scamping scout camping center that's over there so um, I think they've got the right idea so let me try that again it's the JH Kale Scout Training Center so again this seems to be the way that I'm finishing up my hikes every time now this is in the bin lucky shoots misses let me try that again okay in the bin that wasn't so hard <laughs> 